Dragonism countdown. And good calls. We're awaiting the SpaceX launch director's final go for launch. SpaceX launch director, go for launch. And with that, we are now just a little more than 30 seconds away from seeing the liftoff of this Falcon 9 rocket. T-minus 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. And here we go. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engine ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the CRS thirty one mission on the way to the International Space Station. Falcon 9 is clear the tower. And some good calls from SpaceX. Stage two engine chill. As the CRS-31 mission now well underway. That call for engine chill to prepare the Merlin vacuum engine on the Falcon 9's second stage for ignition. We're coming up on a few different events in fairly rapid succession here. We'll see first stage main engine cutoff at about T plus two minutes and 19 seconds. That'll be followed a few seconds after that by stage separation. The Merlin vacuum engine will then kick on about eight seconds thereafter. Following that, the boost back burn begins at T plus two minutes and 36 seconds, lasting a little less than a minute. We'll be off to the races. Some great work by our tracking team tonight. see Miko. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two startup. Stage one boost back startup. A great shot of the boost back burn. This view coming to us from Pete Carson's with Max Q Productions. For those in Central Florida, and most specifically Florida Space Coast, you may hear a sonic boom as the Falcon booster comes back through the atmosphere and makes its way to its landing at LZ-1 at Cape Canaveral Spaceport Station. Let's boost back burn wrapping up in just a moment here. Stage one, boost back, shut down. Now looking at an onboard camera view from the Falcon 9's second stage. Nearly four minutes into flight. The next event we are anticipating here is the start of the first stage entry burn. 
It's coming up at about T plus 6 minutes and 25 seconds. Vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. A good call there that the both the upper stage and the first stage are following the expected flight paths on this mission. Taking a live look now from our camera at the press site. You can see the glow of that Merlin vacuum mentioned from our perspective on the ground. Now five minutes into flight. now nearing T plus six minutes into this mission. We're just about 30 seconds or so away from the start of the first stage entry. Nominal part. trajectory. And as you just heard, the stages are following a nominal flight path. About 10 seconds away to the start of the entry burn. Stage one entry burn. The call for the start of the entry burn and there it goes. Stage one entry burn shut down. Stage one FTS is saved. I call the flight termination system on the Falcon 9's first stage no longer needed at this point in the flight. You're seeing some of the lights of Florida Space Coast starting to come into view here. Nice glowing view of our little neck of the woods, as seen from the Falcon 9's first stage onboard cameras. We're coming up on the start of the landing burn here, now less than 10 seconds. Stage 1 transonic. First stage traveling below the speed of sound, and again, for those who are here in Central Florida, be aware of that sonic boom that's coming up in the next minute. Stage one landing burn. Stage one landing like deploy. Stage one landing is confirmed. Stage two internal guidance. And the first stage booster B-1083 safely back down at LZ-1, accompanied by the aforementioned sonic boom. The mission not quite over yet, though, folks, so stick around as we're awaiting views coming from the second stage with the deployment of the Dragon spacecraft, which will be separating from the Falcon 9 upper stage in less than a minute. Stage 2 shut down. The call for Seco 1 for second stage engine cutoff. Nominal orb insertion. Good confirmation of orbit insertion. Now nine minutes into flight. We're less than 30 seconds away from Dragon separation. 
Page 2 FTS is saved. Seeing now live dragon separation confirmed. Live view inside the dragon trunk is it got the call for separation. Hopefully we'll get some views back of Dragon as it begins to move away from the Falcon 9's upper stage. Now T plus 12 minutes, 22 seconds and counting. At this point, the dragon's nose cone should have also opened. Taking a live look inside the headquarters for SpaceX and Hawthorne, California. We're seeing here are the two different control rooms. On the left is Mission Control Center Houston. On the right is the control center in Hawthorne, California. Of course, the Dragon spacecraft set to dock with the International Space, Sta International Space Station at 10.15 a.m. 
Eastern. It's 15.15 UTC. As we just heard, actually, from a NASA commentator, they're actually still awaiting the nose cone deploy sequence. It's scheduled to happen at T plus 10 minutes and 8 seconds. May have just been that the Dragon went out of range to get that direct confirmation. That's why we're still hanging around for additional confirmation of nose cone deployment. journey to the International Space Station fairly quick 13 hours you're seeing the nose cone deployment sequence now This is a graphic of the series of burns that the Dragon spacecraft will conduct on its journey to the International Space Station. First up is this phase burn to raise the perigee of the Dragon spacecraft. That boost burn brings it about 10 kilometers away from the orbit of the International Space Station. It's followed by an additional close elliptic burn and then the transfer burn. This transfer burn We'll raise Dragon just beneath the International Space Station, about two and a half kilometers. Tomorrow morning, live coverage from NASA will pick up as Dragon makes that approach, initi approach initiation. They just saw in that final graphic there before pulling back to this view of the two mission control centers. We do have word that the nose cone has locked into its intended position. And seeing some views from the Dragon spacecraft there as well. <laughs> 